this is a story of a camera that isn't a complete story yet but I thought I would do a video on it explain where we are with the camera and see where we go on from here I was very fortunate last year that I came across at a um, fair this camera this camera is a bit of a holy grail of cameras especially if you are a little bit fanatical about English cameras. This is a camera which was produced in about 1959. Um, I think it went from 56 to 59. This is a late model and it is the Auto Range 820 by Enzyme. And why am I so excited about this camera? Well, it's got a range finder. It was considered at the time to be one of the top British cameras ever produced. Um, to open the camera, you press here, and we have a coupled rangefinder. If I move the ra rangefinder, just to recap to those that might not have used the rangefinder camera, when you look through the viewfinder, you'll get a double image and in the centre, and you move the rangefinder until the two images collide together and when they do that means the camera is in focus and that is how automatic focusing actually works in the majority of cameras um, that um, it uses basically the rangefinder technique but of course automates it now but in in the day <laughs> you had to do it by hand and what is really interesting about this is it's not the lens moving but the whole lens um, movement the sorry the whole you can see the whole bellows move and there's something very nifty about this design as well so I've got the camera closed I'm going about I haven't opened up the camera but I can focus then open the camera and the focus is then set. Quite sure how often you would want to use that, but it is a design feature. We have a wonderful um, Ross lens here. And again, the, the lens is one of the stars. The, it's an Express lens on here, a 3.8. So a moderately fast lens, very fast lens for the time. Um, and these cameras are well known for producing very good images. I mean, I would um, say it's on a par on a good day to the Besser. Fortlander Besser is a camera I've been better to have been trying to get one for years and failed. Um, this is the English equivalent, I would say. Unfortunately, there's a big but in all this, right? Um, I was really excited and we will look at some of the images, took it out, did a film, the shutter's in beautiful condition, the rangefinder is very, very faint and could do with some work. This camera looks in lovely condition, however, it leaks light, which can be a problem with bellows. So the images I got were incredibly disappointing. What do I do? Do I sell the camera? Do I, um, repairing and replacing bellows is possible. Um, I still don't know quite what to do. I would love to get this camera in full working order. I would love to use it um, and share with you the images. So what's this space? Hopefully in some months or maybe a couple of years, I will have this in full working order. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.